and the water, the food, the beverages, the electromagnetic radiation. It's all of these things that are making people sick. From the videos I was putting out in 2018, everything is coming to fruition. A big push for 5G is for driverless society in the future. The electromagnetic frequencies, mostly from smart meters, cell phones, and more importantly, the rollout of 5G. Their goal was to support 100 billion devices by 2020. We have a serious situation going on in the world right now with radiation leaking from Fukushima and we want to just educate everybody and let them know how they could protect themselves and Mike you have some radiation meters that they can use. The one thing and I'm going to be talking about this a lot later that really worries me and um, in a lot of the, the physicians, the natural physicians that are out there right now that are seeing this in their practice is electromagnetic radiation. It's, what worries me is when you can't see something and you can't feel something, but it's there bombarding your body in a negative way and you really don't have any choice to get, a, get away from it, that's electromagnetic radiation. And what he found was the water was the worst with electromagnetic radiation because on the right you see water influenced by electromagnetic waves continue to be broken because of the waves. They can't reform themselves into crystals. And that's with TV, cell phones, electromagnetic waves, and, uh, and other different types of frequencies, microwave radiation, etc. Now that's a pretty scary thought. Don't, don't get scared about that because I'm working on solutions right now. But metals, nanoparticles, everything can go directly into your brain now that's why we're seeing a massive increase in brain fog, in Alzheimer's, in dementia, in, you know, IQs dropping down. Some people call me Dr. Detox because that's really what health is all about. Detoxing the things that cause the, or basically what I've been saying for 20 years, the root cause of disease. Detoxing those out of your body and detoxing those out of your life. There's many different ways to do that. You have to be able to open up your mind and question everything. First of all, you have to look at us as human beings. We are an electrical magnetic being. That's we are vibrations. And if you really break down the difference between health and disease, it all comes down to vibrations. If you're vibrating at a very low frequency, your disease can manifest. If you're vibrating at a little high frequency, or you're enlightened, or you're in a state of love and peace and joy in some of those positive emotional states, you will vibrate at a high emotional state. And not only a high emotional state, a high physical state, and a high enlightened state. And it'll be very hard. Um, for you to get any type of disorder in your body. They want to be able to, uh, a big push for 5G is for driverless society in the future. They want all electric vehicles and they want nobody driving. They want to be able to monitor all this through 5G and through this unified electric grid that is already set up right now, actually. Just the, the push. I mean, there's a huge, huge push more and more to get this 5G in everywhere. And now they've come out with what's called the over-the-air reception devices rule change. Um, and that is to allow transmitting antennas, including 5G antennas, to be located on people's homes without any limitations or due process to object their installation. This rule will enable what I call a wireless Wild West and the purpose is to allow the home 5G boosters and mainly to enable the installation of the 1 million ground antennas for the satellites. This is scary stuff. I mean, that means they can install a 5G antenna and system on your home and you cannot do anything about it. I was saying that I was the one that predicted or one of the people that predicted everything that's happening now. From the videos I was putting out in 2018, everything is coming to fruition. Their goal was to support 100 billion devices 
by 2020, nuclear radiation, I mean, we know that causes cancer, non-ionizing radiation, which includes microwave radiation, electromagnetic frequencies, radio frequencies, zero research from the telecommunications industry that says it's safe. How can it be mandated to be something severely dangerous on the worldwide population with no studies done on it? I've always said, it's all the chemicals, the toxins in the water, the food, the beverages, the electromagnetic radiation. It's all of these things that are making people sick. If it's, if it's very simple. If you just know how to not expose yourself to all this stuff and not put all this stuff in your system, that's what you need to know. So what do you do about that? Well, there are a lot, you know, put cell phone protectors on your cell phones, put, you know, radiation blankets. There's, there's companies right now that are selling clothing that block a radiation hats. There's screens that you can hang over your bed to protect it. There's paints, radiation blocking, harmful EMF blocking paints. You can get your smart meter removed on your house and put an analog meter back on there. And, I, and so I've been doing research trying to figure out, well, what can we take? What, what out there is can we take to protect us from electromagnetic frequencies? And I ended up stumbling last week onto, there's nobody out there that's documenting this stuff. I mean, there's no trials going on on how, what you can take to prevent electromagnetic frequency radiation. You know, by the way, electromagnetic frequency, harmful electromagnetic frequencies open up your calcium channels. So people are starting to get all this excess calcium deposited everywhere in their system and it's, and it's contributing to heart disease, diabetes, all kinds of other things. So look into how to protect yourself, but guess what? Guess what I'm starting to see? And I've seen uh, YouTube videos of individuals that are hypersensitive to electromagnetic frequencies. So I'm looking everywhere. It's like sometimes you can learn the most from people that suffer the most. Like these people like suffer from, they can't even be around a cell phone or they they have a tower down the street and all of a sudden they're just whacked out and headaches and they can't think straight. I mean, they know. And they've tried multiple different things trying to figure out what they can take to get rid of this electromagnetic hypersensitivity syndrome. And guess what's working? Iodine. You know, I've always, you know, doing all the research on iodine and just seeing how important iodine is. Iodine has been used to, to get rid of radiation. I never thought iodine would work on, uh, on electromagnetic frequencies. We've always known it works to, to, to protect your thyroid and protect all your cells for any type of radiation harmful radiation, nuclear radiation, iodine-131. And so now I'm starting to see more and more people that are taking iodine that are actually, that have been suffering from uh, EMF, hypersensitivity, getting better. That's great news, great news. Vitamin D seems to work pretty good. A good calcium magnesium orotate uh, is working. Iodine is working. Melatonin, actually. I found some research on melatonin that's helping uh, with uh, electromagnetic hypersensitivity syndrome and maybe possibly, you know, really another thing that you want to look at is DNA, right? Because the um, electromagnetic frequencies break your DNA down. So that's why I'm thinking the cell fusion that we have would be really, really good. And that's why I'm taking the cell fusion because I think that's going to protect anything that's going to protect your DNA. You have the power to heal yourself. Your self-healing mechanism is the most powerful thing in the world. Leave your comments. Until next time, live happy and live healthy.